Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and it's very cold, but we're not going to let that upset us because today we're looking at this gun, a Daystate Wolverine Forester. This is a limited edition gun, number 128 out of 170, and it's currently available pre-owned from my friends at Crackshot in Newton Abbott. The gun is advertised for 1450 and I'm not going to pretend like that isn't a lot of money, but you're getting a rare, high quality piece of Daystate history. I've used several Wolverines. This is a lovely one. I'm not going to try and dress it up or, or pretend, okay? I have never seen one of these before. When I was in the shop last time, Eric asked me if I'd like to do a video kind of review demonstration on it so that's what I'm doing you don't get the scope that's my Optizan that I use but you will get the uh, 10 shot magazine the paperwork single shot tray and obviously the gun it is beautiful I'm gonna show you some proper sweep over images that I, I took up close for you to have a look at and you can geek out and you can enjoy what the gun looks like I want to talk to you about the things that I like about the gun and the things that I don't. So let's go. First of all, it looks awesome. I at first wasn't a fan of the the oak inlay work. So you've got acorns on there, oak leaves, but it's kind of grown on me. I, I, I really like that. I think the aesthetic is cool. It looks really nice. It's very chunky and, and um, robust and one of the things that I really like about it is check it out you have two options for thumb up so you could have your thumb up on either side depending on if you're left or right handed I've never seen that before on a gun um, and that's an awesome little feature I, I, I really like that um, this is a piece of artwork as far as I'm concerned but it's also accurate as well and you're going to see me shooting two test groups at 40 meters using the magazine momentarily. Now, there are some flyers. I'll be honest with you. And you're going to see that. And there's no point me lying to you because I think that reputations are built and destroyed on if people are lying to one another. And I could feel when I was clicking the bolt backwards and forwards when the flyer would happen. It almost like it would give me a little bit more resistance. So I don't know if that is something that needs oiling, but it's really important to let you know that up front. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. However, as you're gonna see, the groupings at 40 meters, for me at least, are respectable. You may disagree and say that I'm a silly goose, and that's absolutely fine. But for me, I'm happy with that. I did a little bit of pellet testing at 30 meters and the pellets that I used were QIS domed and th they seem to work really nicely. The gun is very heavy. As I'm holding it here now, I mean, I did do a weight session yesterday, so I think my arms are particularly weak, but um, holding it here like this, I can feel how um, meaty the gun is, right? I wouldn't want to be using this offhand for very long. It's extremely um, robust. It also has some little the Wolverine and the day state symbol engraved underneath which which is really nice. It seems very natural and autumnal which is suitable for the time of year. Available for my friends at Crackshot. You can give them a ring, speak to anyone there, they'll be happy to help you out. You can come and test it yourself at the range and what you're about to see is me shooting this at 40 meters with the QAS pellet and then after that you're going to see the groups up close compared to a five penny piece and then I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of the gun with some nice melodic music for you all to enjoy. Take care, my nose is running and I'll see you soon, bye bye.
There was a flyer in there, which happened, but I felt it when I was using the bolt action. I'm going to shoot another 10 shot group on the other target using exactly the same pellet. That group looks good, but there was a flyer in there, away from the main group. Again, it happens sometimes, it could have been a, due to a deformity in the pellet, although I think that is quite rare with these QIS pellets, they're very good, extremely good quality. And we can have another go. That's the kind of people we are. Oh, that's terrible. Why was that flyer at the end? It was really good up until then. That's at 40 meters. I'm disappointed with that flyer. It happens. Let's go and get the targets and let's compare those groups to a five penny piece. There is my first group, and with the exception of the flyer, that could have been me of course, it fits nicely under the five penny piece. And if we have group number two, get rid of you for a second. It's not as good as I was hoping. There are two sort of absolute screamers in there, but the majority of them, eight out of 10 at least, under a five penny piece, and in the first case scenario, 9 out of 10 under a 5 penny piece.